simply press that button and we're on. I love those colors. I love it when those colors appear. So that shows that your mixer is on. Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Peter Konunda and once again I welcome you to this channel. Kindly subscribe if you haven't done so. If you've done so, kindly consider liking the video and sharing with someone. Now in today's video, we are going to learn how to connect a Pioneer DJM S9 mixer to a pair of Reloop vinyl control turntables. Uh, they are direct drive turntables. I have a pair of official control vinyls. I'll show you what's inside. These are basically the original vinyls used on turntables that you might already know. So I'll take out one. This is not music but basically a software used to control music being played from the turntables. We have a pair of this. I'll put this aside. We also have a 9 inch aluminium platter. This sits on top of the turntable. We have two of these. I also have with me a Reloop original sleep mat. This is how it looks like. Thin, branded Reloop and very smooth. And then I also have the actual turntable with me. Remember this is Reloop RP2000M turntable or direct drive turntable. I'll put that at the back. So I also have a pair of this. Then lastly we have the Reloop head shells. So we have a pair of this. I'm going to speed up the rest of the process so that we can meet once I have connected all the turntables. So the first thing to do when uh, assembling the Reloop RP2000M turntable is to slip in the platter. So once that is slipped on, you simply take your Reloop slip mat and put it on top and then lastly you take your re sorry the serato vinyl and put it on top of your turntable and that is simply how it is done it is uh, assembled i'll do the other side again you take the platter and put it on, slip it directly above the turntable, the spindle, then put the slip mat nicely on top of your turntable and then finally we put the Serato vinyl. One thing that I forgot to do is to put the head shell and this is quite simple. You look at the needle, there's a needle on top of this head shell. You simply use that to push it through. You first need to open this, slip it through and then close that tightly and you're done. The same case applies with the other end of the arm. You simply slip in the head shell and then close this and we are done. So guys, our setup is pretty done. 
what we need to do now is to connect this to to the mixer and then power them on once everything is assembled as you can see in front of me it is now time for you to connect the turntables to the mixer and what you need to take note of are the cables that you have with you so we have an RCA with a, an extra cable I'll show you what that does but basically I'll pull my mixer back so that I can see what's written for no. if you can look at this it's written for no. so that is where your RCAs go into the white RCA goes into the white port and the red one into the red port the third cable goes into ground this is your grounding for the equipment so that you don't get electrocuted while using the equipment you then take the other side of the left side that is my left and then the same case applies this has these are simply used to block to, to block the pots so that nothing goes into them so the white RCA into the white pot and the red one into the red pot and then you finally make sure that you ground the equipment otherwise you will get some electric shocks while using the equipment so that is pretty how we do it now the next thing is to connect all the equipment to power once you have everything connected to the mixer as you can see the left R the right RCA that is my right RCA connects to the mixer on the right side and the left does the same to the turntable so what you need to do from this point is connect everything to power and just power on the equipment so we we'll go ahead and connect the equipment to power they come with pretty long power cables so you simply push that into a power source do the same to the next and then lastly connect the mixer I'll put this back connect the mixer to the power source and that's it so we simply power on the equipment so for the mixer you simply press that button and we're on I love those colors I love it when those colors appear so that shows that your mixer is on and now the other thing is to power on our reloop turntables so this is quite simple you simply push this and you can see a red light or red lights and then you simply do that and your turntable is now on and ready to play some music if you want to play music from the turntable then you simply remove the lock and then move your arm on top of the rotating vinyl of course you have to balance it so that you don't have the rapid or the fast movement so you can also power the other side and simply play so what we have with us is a pair of reloop rp2000m professional direct turntables or professional direct drive turntables running and connected to a pioneer djm s9 mixer as you can see and 
with this setup we are pretty ready to play music and that is guys how we connect our reloop RP2000M turntables to a DJM S9 mixer from Pioneer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If it was, help me by liking, commenting and please share this with someone out there. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for the growth that I have achieved so far. It is because of your support. Thank you and let's meet in the next tutorial. Bye!